what is happening traders what is happening traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i will be looking at the four hour time frame this is one of the videos that you guys have been asking me to actually make uh you know it's been a while since most of you guys have been asking me that yo please please uh, make a, a video about the four hour time frame getting in depth about the four hour time frame and i'm glad to tell you that this is the video guys so you might want to watch till the end in order for you to fully fully understand um this what i'm actually going to be talking about so i'm not going to waste any of you guys time let us just get on with it right so you can see now that i'm actually on my four hour time frame let us try and go over to our one hour time frame now right so if we can actually go over to our one hour time frame right you see let us just do that can see lower low i mean lower high lower low lower high lower low and let us say we actually uh we actually wanted to enter at our lower high right there right so you can see we've got that right there we've got our first touch first touch second touch and we and we actually have our third touch at third touch and also remember guys the first two touches of your trend line have to be from the uh, from the previous two lower highs meaning that you mustn't start your trend line wherever you actually want it to actually start maybe put it somewhere no it has to be on the previous two what two lower highs right and also your trend line has to be at the end of the week right end of the week as you can see there and also as you can see there right so you can see there that we've got our first touch right there second touch right there and we've got our third touch right there right so if you can actually look clearly here you can see that we've got our railway track candlestick pattern um if this is not our railway track i think it's our inside bar candlestick pattern but i think it is our railway track candlestick pattern so this uh, please note this this is our one hour time frame so basically what you would have actually done here is you would have actually taken your entry there and done what and then entered there and then after some couple of hours price would have actually done what let us say your take profit was at that low right there right and after some couple of hours price would have actually done what would have actually come and taken your stop out <laughs> all right so this th this is one of the things that are actually painful when it comes to trading right because you enter and then price comes back to take your stop loss and then it actually moves to your predicted direction so that is where the four hour time frame comes in that is where the four hour time frame actually comes into play right that is where th that is how the four hour time frame is actually able to actually help you right so now let us see at how the four hour time frame really really helps you right so you can see there that you would have actually gotten your candlestick pattern but you know you actually got stopped out so let us actually go over on our four hour time frame to actually see if we actually had our candlestick pattern right let's just close that all right so you can see here that on the four hour time frame we never had any candlestick pattern meaning that you would have avoided entering the and we can actually see here where price actually made the move to the downward where price would have actually hit your take profit you can see here that we've got the same candlestick pattern that actually formed it there on your one hour time frame actually formed here on your four hour time frame giving you a correct signal that yes you must actually do what you must actually sell now price is actually ready now so basically the four hour time frame filters bad signals right they actually filters bad signals because most of the time the four hour time frame doesn't just form candlestick patterns but it forms candlestick patterns um in a way that uh, uh in a way that is 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 a bit accurate right because on the four hour time frame there is less noise so the four time frame is able to actually give you um accurate candlestick patterns right so you can see there that you would have actually gotten stopped out but you would have actually um traded your candlestick pattern right but at the end of the day you would have actually gotten stopped out out, out of nowhere but here if you would if you would have entered here um using the candlestick pattern that um actually formed on the four hour time frame your trade would have done what would have actually hit your take profit 
so this is why i always say that on the four hour time frame you actually enter after manipulation has actually happened as you can see here that you would have actually entered after right let me just try and do that you would have actually entered after uh, uh, after price had actually taken the stops of those that actually entered here using this lower time frames like the 15 minutes time frames one hour time frame but you on the other hand on the other hand having used the four hour time frame you would have actually entered after manipulation has actually happened right so besides the fact that the four hour time frame is actually able to give you freedom in time to actually allow you to do your things be because that actually means that you do not have to um to open your empty phone now and then also the uh, uh, uh the four hour time frame is actually accurate than these time frames um than this lower um time frame so two things that three things that that i actually love about the four hour time frame the first one is that it is able to give out accurate um candlestick patterns the second thing is that it gives you freedom in time and the third thing is what we are actually about to check here right so if we can maybe try and look at price here you can see that here we've got our first touch i mean lower low lower high lower low and let us say you would have actually wanted to do what to actually enter there right so let us try and throw our trend line right there and there is our flip zone right so um another thing that you really really have to note about the four hour time frame is that you really have to note the weeks weeks don't just form on the four hour time frame right probably this is something that i that i haven't revealed yet but right now i'm actually revealing it to you so apparently once you actually um get a week on the four hour time frame or you actually get king the sticks with weeks on the four hour time frame and then all of a sudden you get a full bodied king the stick um of, of uh, uh, following those weeks then it actually means that price is now ready to move for instance you can see here that we actually had that king the stick with weeks and then all of a sudden you actually got this bearish king the stick um this full bodied bearish king the stick right so um this week's actually represent a war going on between the buyers and the sellers right the four time frame is actually able to tell you what exactly is happening behind doors it is able to tell you that because there is less noise there so the four time frame is accurate almost in everything and then once all of a sudden once you then see a full body uh bearish kangli followed um a, 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 a full body bearish kangli following this kangli stick with with two weeks right remember this was a war between the buyers and the sellers and this full body bearish kangli is going to be a signal to you to sell and it will be telling you that yes the the sellers have actually won this war and then you actually sell so once you get uh, kangli sticks with weeks and then you actually get a full body kangli stick then that actually tells you that yes price now is actually ready to move so let us say that even here price was actually printing out kangli stick kangli stick sweet weeks kangli stick sweet weeks kangli stick sweet weeks and then all of a sudden you actually get a bearish uh, a full body bearish kangli right that is a signal to you that yes what ever has been happening here the sellers have actually won since now price is moving in such a huge momentum to the downward right so that is so much so much super super key for you to actually um do um do actually take note of so whenever price actually gets to your trend line right if price was actually approaching your trend line using candlesticks with weeks using candlesticks with weeks let us say it was actually um approaching your 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 resistance using candlesticks with weeks with weeks with weeks right and then all of a sudden you see a full body uh, bearish candle just like this one moving to the downward then that should actually tell you that price is actually ready to move you can actually see here that this is no candlestick pattern this is not a candlestick pattern but here you are just reading what actually price is actually doing right here you are just reading what price is actually doing and another thing you mustn't just um rely on what you mustn't just rely on seeing candlesticks happen right
at the end of the day you mustn't just rely on seeing candlesticks happen remember what we do, what we said we actually said that in the four hour time frame um you actually enter after manipulation has actually happened so it is very vital for you to actually then try and go over to the 15 minutes time frame or the 30 minutes time frame to see if there was any m or any w pattern formed because remember these w these double tops and these double bottoms actually symbolize what they actually symbolize manipulation right so for instance you can see that when price actually reached our zone right there it actually formed this what it actually formed that m pattern right so once you actually see that price is now ready to move on the four hour time frame you actually also go over to your four hour time frame to see if manipulation has actually happened right and once you see that that price has actually formed a double bottom or a double top then that actually means that manipulation has actually happened and that is why price is moving in such huge momentum to the downward and that is why the sellers now are strong because they were able to actually manipulate this trend line they've taken the money and now they are ready to move to the downward so do not forget that before you actually once you get your candlestick pattern or once you actually get your full body a full body candlestick also go over to the small time frame to actually see um what actually happened in the 15 minutes time frame whether there was any chaos created on the 15 minutes time frame and once you see that oh, okay there is a double top or a double bottom meaning that there was any kind of manipulation that actually happened there and then on the four hour time frame i'm getting my candlestick pattern or i'm getting this full body bearish Kangly stick after price had actually been giving me a series of weak kanglis weak kanglis then it actually means that the sellers are now ready to move price to the downward and i should actually sell so that is super super important um uh to actually take note of so that's it for this video guys if you actually ne need me to also go in deeper in deeper about the four hour time frame please please you can uh you know i'm always here guys i'm here for you i know the struggle so you can just simply uh you know comment down below and you know just ask politely or you know just you know ask politely that yeah there's something that i never really understood here or please make a video about this and that and then i'll you know sort of like make an updated version of this video about the four time frame but as of right now this is actually all you need but if there's anything that you do not understand that i might have actually said here you can simply um comment down below and i'll be there to actually assist you so if you find value on this video do get those likes up see you in the next video